Welcome to the Majestic Truth Podcast. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of the universe, explore the unexplained, and shed light on some of the most important events that have occurred and are occurring in our world today. Get ready to open your mind, expand your horizons, and discover the extraordinary. This is the Majestic Truth Podcast. And now your host, Michelle. Welcome back, Truth Seekers, to another episode of the Majestic Truth Podcast, the show that explores the most intriguing mysteries and unexplained phenomena from our world and beyond. I'm your host, Michelle. And today I want to continue with Majestic Truth's Cosmic Discoveries, Science and UFO News, where we delve into the fascinating world of the latest scientific discoveries, unidentified flying objects, extraterrestrial encounters, emerging conspiracies from today's headlines, and planetary updates from our world and beyond. We'll bring you some of the most intriguing sightings, groundbreaking scientific research, and the latest developments in the quest to understand what lies beyond our skies and the ultimate goal of disclosure. Whether you're a seasoned sky watcher or a curious newcomer, join us as we explore the mysteries of the cosmos and seek the truth behind the unexplained. Let's dive into this week's cosmic discoveries. Be sure to check out our last episode, episode 32, on UFOs and the Oval Office, government transparency, and moon water. Some really cool stuff, so check it out on your favorite podcast app. Before we kick off the show here, head on over to MajesticTruth.com forward slash episode 33 to see the overview of this particular episode. So let's get into it. To continue with our discussion of long-term habitation on the moon, our first topic for discussion today is Lego-inspired space bricks, pioneering the next era of lunar architecture. Ever dreamt of building a home on the moon? Imagine using Lego-inspired space bricks to create lunar habitats. These innovative bricks developed by the European Space Agency are set to transform lunar construction. Think of it as playing with Lego blocks, but on a much grander cosmic scale. Why is this significant? Using sustainable materials for building on the moon isn't just smart, it's essential. Shipping traditional construction materials from Earth is costly and impractical. Instead, ESA is focusing on utilizing local resources. They aim to use what's already there, lunar regolith, a fine dusty soil covering the moon's surface. Here's where ESA's creativity shines. By turning lunar regolith into durable space bricks, they pave the way for future moon colonies. This approach not only minimizes transportation costs, but also enhances self-sufficiency in space missions, using what we have to build where we are. That's ESA's mantra for lunar architecture. The Lego-inspired design ensures these bricks are easy to assemble and incredibly stable. So whether you're an astronaut or an engineer, constructing your lunar habitat just got a whole lot easier and more exciting. The Vision for Lunar Construction Establishing permanent structures on the moon isn't just a sci-fi fantasy. It's a stepping stone for humanity's future in space. These lunar bases could serve as launching pads for deeper space exploration, scientific research hubs, or even tourist destinations in the cosmos. Just let's think about it. The dream of lunar construction has roots tracing back to the 1960s Apollo missions. These early explorations sparked our imaginations and laid the groundwork for today's space engineering marvels. The lessons learned from those missions inform current efforts, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So what are the challenges? Building on the moon is no small feat. The moon's environment presents unique hurdles like extreme temperatures swinging from minus 173 degrees Celsius or minus 279.4 degrees Fahrenheit at night to 127 degrees Celsius or 260.6 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Additionally, its low gravity, about one-sixth of Earth's, demands innovative solutions to ensure structural stability and human safety. Despite these challenges, each step forward brings us closer to turning these visions into reality. So we have to look at sustainable construction and how to harness local materials. Lunar regolith is essentially the moon's version of soil, a loose mixture of dust, broken rock, and tiny fragments from meteorite impacts. Unlike Earth's soil, it lacks organic material but is rich in minerals like silicon, aluminum, and iron oxide. 
This makes it an excellent candidate for construction materials on the lunar surface. Using lunar regolith as a primary building material offers multiple benefits, including one, reduced transportation costs. Transporting materials from Earth to the moon is incredibly expensive. Utilizing local resources means fewer shipments from Earth, drastically lowering costs. Two, increase self-sufficiency. By using what's already available on the moon, future lunar colonies can become more self-reliant. This minimizes dependency on Earth and allows for quicker adaptation to unexpected challenges. Resource utilization on the moon isn't just about convenience. It's about survival and efficiency. Imagine being able to 3D print a building using the ground beneath your feet. That's the promise of sustainable construction with lunar regolith. This approach not only brings down logistical hurdles, but also sets a precedent for off-world living that prioritizes sustainability and innovation. So, an innovative solution that ESA scientists are working on is using meteorite dust as a resource for space bricks. ESA scientists have embarked on an exciting journey by creating synthetic lunar regolith from meteorite dust. This dust, collected from our solar system's history, closely mimics the composition of actual lunar soil. Imagine using ancient space debris to build the future of lunar habitats. Enter stage left. The magic of 3D printing. The real game changer here is 3D printing technology. This tech isn't just for making funky art pieces. It's a cornerstone for rapid prototyping and customization in space architecture. Here's how it works. One, creating synthetic regolith. ESA mixes meteorite dust with binding agents to produce a material that behaves like lunar soil. Two, 3D printing process. This synthetic regolith is then fed into specialized 3D printers designed to operate in lunar conditions. These printers layer the material precisely to form solid interlocking bricks. This method allows for quick adaptation and personalization in construction projects, essential when dealing with the moon's unpredictable environment. Whether it's building a small research outpost or a large habitat, 3D printing offers flexibility and efficiency that's hard to beat. By using both meteorite dust and advanced technology, ESA is paving the way for sustainable construction on the moon. Imagine the joy of snapping together Lego bricks to create something unique. ESA's space bricks bring that same spirit to lunar construction. These Lego-inspired space bricks feature interlocking mechanisms, making them stable and easy to assemble. The design mimics the simple yet effective functionality of our favorite childhood toy, turning lunar architecture into a giant cosmic playset. The modular design is at the heart of this innovation. Legos bring stability and ease of assembly. The interlocking nature ensures that structures remain sturdy, even in the moon's low gravity environment. Experimentation and adaptability. Modular design allows for flexibility. Builders can experiment with different configurations, adapting quickly to new challenges or needs. These bricks are not just building blocks. They are stepping stones for human creativity on the moon. Using these creative construction techniques, future astronauts can build habitats that are not only functional, but also customizable. They can adapt their living spaces as requirements change, paving the way for sustainable lunar living. The potential of Lego-inspired space bricks goes beyond just creating shelters. It opens up endless possibilities for scientific labs, observation posts, and even recreational areas on the moon, all built through the power of modular design. The ESA wants to encourage future generations to think beyond Earth. Imagine walking into a Lego store and stumbling upon a display that instantly transports you to the moon. ESA is making this vision a reality by showcasing their innovative space bricks at select Lego stores worldwide. This initiative aims to spark curiosity and ignite passion for science and engineering among children. By partnering with Lego, the ESA leverages the universal appeal of these iconic toys to introduce complex scientific concepts in an accessible manner. Kids can explore how these space bricks work, understand their interlocking mechanisms, and even get hands-on experience assembling structures designed for lunar habitats. Some stores offer workshops where children can learn about lunar regolith, 
the challenges of space construction, and the technology behind 3D printing. Engaging children through public engagement initiatives like this not only makes learning fun, but also lays the foundation for future careers in STEM fields. These programs demystify advanced engineering projects and show that anyone with an interest in building creativity or space could play a part in humanity's next giant leap. The excitement generated by these showcases goes beyond just fun. It's about planting seeds of inspiration that could grow into the engineers, scientists, and astronauts of tomorrow. Through such tangible experiences, the ESA hopes to cultivate a new generation that's ready to think beyond Earth and tackle the challenges of lunar living. Living on the moon could soon be more than just a sci-fi dream. Think of habitats built with Lego-inspired space bricks designed for easy assembly and sustainability using local materials. This vision paves the way for future moon colonies, transforming how we think about living beyond Earth. All right, this brings us to our next topic on the show today. Did another UFO crash six years after Roswell? New leaked texts reveal ongoing UFO concerns. When you think of UFO crashes, the Roswell incident of 1947 probably pops into your mind. This event, where an alleged alien spacecraft crashed in New Mexico, has fueled countless conspiracy theories and captivated public imagination for decades. Its impact on UFO lore is undeniable, making it the gold standard for extraterrestrial encounters. But did you know about the Kingman incident taking place six years after Roswell in 1953? This lesser known event also involves claims of a UFO crash, but it hasn't received nearly as much attention. Well, what do you know? Recently, leaked texts from Christopher Mellon have reignited interest in these mysterious occurrences. These texts reveal ongoing government concerns about unidentified aerial phenomena, suggesting that what we know may only scratch the surface of a much larger story. So let's chat real quick about the Roswell incident. This was a catalyst for UFO conspiracy theories. The Roswell incident of 1947 is one of the most well-known events in UFO history. It all started when an unknown object crashed on a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico. At first, the U.S. military said it was a flying disc, but quickly changed their story and said it was just a weather balloon. This sudden change in explanation fueled conspiracy theories. Newspapers erupted with headlines about the crash, stirring public curiosity. The military's change in narrative left many skeptical, fueling rumors of a cover-up. Roswell wasn't just another event. It became the foundation for future UFO incidents and theories. People started questioning what their government knew about extraterrestrial life and why they might be hiding it. The Roswell incident set a precedent, making every subsequent UFO sighting part of a larger narrative of secrecy and speculation. This important moment has had lasting effects, continuously sparking debates and investigations into unidentified flying objects. As we explore other incidents like Kingman, we can see how much Roswell has influenced them. All right, so this brings us to the Kingman incident. What happened in 1953? The Kingman, Arizona UFO crash of 1953 remains a fascinating chapter in UFO lore. Eyewitness testimony plays a crucial role in the credibility of such incidents. Having multiple witnesses is essential to verify extraordinary claims. In the case of the Kingman incident, several individuals came forward with accounts that support the occurrence of not just one, but multiple UFO sightings. Among the notable testimonies, Arthur Stansel's stands out. Stansel, an engineer working on military projects, claimed to have been part of a recovery team that investigated the crash site. In various government documents, he used the pseudonym Fritz Werner. His detailed descriptions of the debris and his account of seeing a disc-shaped object lends significant weight to the story. About 20 years later, Stansel signed an affidavit reportedly confirming what he saw. Local residents also reported strange lights and an unusual craft. Local historian Harry Drew has conducted extensive research into the Kingman incident. Drew's work involves interviewing surviving witnesses and examining local archives. He has unearthed compelling evidence that supports these sightings. The consistency among various eyewitness accounts strengthens the credibility of the Kingman incident, says Drew. The government's reaction to this event is another layer that adds credibility. Reports indicate that military personnel were promptly dispatched to secure and investigate the site. 
The area was secured and quickly contained for examination. Given this level of involvement, it's clear that something significant occurred near Kingman in 1953. The swift and thorough response by military authorities suggests that they took these reports seriously. These elements collectively build a strong case for considering the Kingman incident as more than just another urban legend. The presence of credible witnesses combined with prompt government action sets it apart as a noteworthy event in UFO history. When the UFO crash in Kingman, Arizona, occurred on May 21, 1953, the military's response was swift and thorough. Eyewitnesses have detailed accounts of how the area was cordoned off almost immediately. Multiple witnesses reported seeing a significant number of military personnel on site, which adds layers of credibility to the event. This brings us to the leaked text from Christopher Mellon and unveiling a potential government cover-up. When it comes to UFOs, few names hold as much weight as Christopher Mellon. As a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, Mellon's insights and revelations are taken seriously. Recently, leaked texts from Mellon have stirred the pot by discussing ongoing concerns about unidentified aerial phenomena and hinting at a possible government cover-up. In these leaked texts, Mellon doesn't mince words. He emphasizes that the government has known much more about UFO crashes and sightings than it lets on. According to Mellon, The public remains largely ignorant of the reality of UAPs. There have been numerous incidents that remain classified and hidden from public view. Such statements underscore a troubling disparity between what officials know and what they share with the public. The slack-jawed revelation, speculating on public awareness and transparency issues surrounding UFO crashes. Mellon's term slack-jawed paints a vivid picture. The idea is that if the general public knew the full extent of UFO incidents and government secrecy, they'd be left in sheer disbelief. What does it mean for the public to be slack-jawed? The phrase suggests a uh, state of shock, jaw-dropping astonishment, For many, this would come from realizing how much has been kept under wraps, leading to questions like, what else is being hidden? Why has there been such an effort to keep these details secret? So what information may be withheld? Several pieces of information could be part of this hidden trove. Detailed reports from military investigations, photographic evidence and physical debris from crash sites, and testimonies from credible witnesses, including military personnel. So why all the secrecy? There are several theories. One, national security concerns releasing information might reveal technological capabilities or weaknesses. Two, public public panic. panic. Officials may fear mass hysteria or panic if the true extent of UFO phenomena were disclosed. Three, control over information. Keeping a tight lid allows for controlled dissemination when deemed necessary. Mellon's revelations give us plenty to ponder. The gap between what we're told and what officials know keeps growing wider, leaving us with more questions than answers. So what are the scientists' role after a UFO crash? When a UFO crashes, scientists are usually called in to examine the wreckage. These experts bring a level of scrutiny and methodical investigation that is vital in understanding what exactly happened. In many cases, their findings are kept secret, adding to the mystery and fascination surrounding these events. This secrecy is not just for show. It's a strategic move to control public perception and protect potentially sensitive information. One of the key figures in these investigations was Arthur Stansel, an engineer who played a crucial role in studying the debris from various crash sites. Stansel's work was essential in evaluating the materials found at the location, determining whether they were from Earth or outer space. His involvement highlights the significance of having reputable scientists take part in these critical investigations. The secrecy surrounding these investigations only adds layers to an already convoluted narrative. So let's move on here to understanding Operation Upshot Knothole and its relevance to the Kingman incident. Operation Upshot Not Holding was a series of nuclear tests conducted by the United States in 1953, around the same time as the Kingman incident. The closeness and timing has led some researchers to speculate that there could be a link between these nuclear tests 
and increased UFO sightings. Quick overview of Operation Upshot Not Hold. Conducted by the United States. Year 1953. Purpose, nuclear tests. So, these tests aim to comprehend the impact of nuclear explosions, but some believe they might have also drawn extraterrestrial interest. Declassified military documents have unveiled intriguing connections between nuclear activity and reported UFO sightings during this period. Examining declassified documents related to Operation Upshot Not Hole offers valuable insights. Nuclear tests and UFO sightings. There is documented evidence suggesting an increase in UFO sightings around nuclear test locations. Government awareness. These documents indicate that government officials were not only aware of these sightings, but were also actively looking into them. The combination of scientific investigation and military secrecy creates a complex picture that continues to fascinate researchers and enthusiasts alike. By exploring both confirmed accounts and speculative theories, we get closer to understanding what might be hiding beyond our skies. The ongoing investigation into UAPs keeps the public's eyes peeled for new information. The fascination with UFO phenomena shows no signs of waning as each revelation adds another layer to the mystery. Visit MajesticTruth.com forward slash episode 33 for links to articles and more information on the Kingman UFO incident. Okay, so next up on the show today, NASA's International Space Station astronauts could be stuck until 2025. Here's why. For those of you following the ongoing story of the International Space Station astronauts, we're diving into a situation that's been making waves in the space community. The extended stay of NASA astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Two astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who left Earth in June, find themselves stuck on the ISS due to technical issues with Boeing's Starliner capsule. This predicament has cast a spotlight on the complexities and challenges of commercial crewed missions. Understanding the implications of these delays is crucial. Implication one, astronaut safety. Extended stays can impact physical and mental health. Implication two, mission planning, delays disrupt plan schedules and future missions. Implication three, future of space exploration, Reliable spacecraft are essential for progress. The challenges faced by Wilmore and Williams underscore the importance of developing dependable spacecraft for safe and successful missions. This situation provides valuable lessons as we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration. Buckle up as we explore what led to this scenario and what it means for future missions. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams embarked on their mission to the International Space Station with a clear timeline in mind. Originally, they were set for an eight-day mission that would conclude with their return via Boeing's Starliner capsule. So what's the current status? Due to unexpected technical issues with the Starliner capsule, these astronauts' stay has been significantly extended. The propulsion system failures have caused their anticipated return to be postponed indefinitely. As of now, Wilmore and Williams find themselves in a holding pattern on the ISS, potentially facing an extended stay until 2025. It's worth noting how these delays emphasize the unpredictable nature of space missions and the importance of having reliable systems in place. While this scenario showcases resilience and adaptability, it also underscores the need for meticulous planning and robust technological solutions in future space endeavors. What are the technical issues with Boeing's Starliner capsule? Boeing's Starliner capsule has faced a series of technical problems, primarily centered around its propulsion system. These issues have raised significant safety concerns for any crew return missions. The propulsion system is critical for maneuvering the spacecraft, and any fault in this system can jeopardize the entire mission. During testing phases, multiple incidents have been reported. One, thruster malfunctions. Several thrusters failed to fire as intended, which could potentially leave the spacecraft unable to navigate properly. Two, helium leaks. Significant leaks in the helium system have been detected. Helium is used to pressurize the fuel tanks and any leakage can result in insufficient pressure, making it difficult to control the propulsion system effectively. 
These technical hurdles not only delay missions, but also put astronaut safety at risk. The engineering teams are working around the clock to address these malfunctions and ensure that Starliner meets all safety standards before it is cleared for crewed flights again. So what's NASA's response to the situation? To tackle the technical challenges faced by Boeing's Starliner, NASA has proactively come up with a plan that prioritizes astronaut safety and mission continuity. Understanding the importance of the situation, NASA has reached out to its trusted partner, SpaceX, for help. Key measures in NASA's strategy. Key measure one, collaboration with SpaceX. NASA is working closely with SpaceX to utilize the Crew Dragon spacecraft as a backup plan. This includes preparing for potential astronaut return missions using Crew Dragon. Key measure two, enhance safety protocols. With ongoing technical assessments, NASA is implementing additional safety checks and protocols to reduce risk associated with extended stays. Key measure three, ongoing communication, maintaining open and continuous communication with both Boeing and SpaceX is crucial. This ensures that all parties are on the same page and ready for any situation. By leveraging the strengths of its commercial crew program partners, NASA aims to navigate this complex situation while prioritizing astronaut welfare. Now, what are the implications for Boeing in future missions? Boeing's recent setbacks with the Starliner capsule have raised serious concerns in the aerospace industry. As a key player in NASA's commercial crew program, Boeing's reputation is being closely examined. The technical problems not only delay missions, but also raise doubts about the reliability of their spacecraft. These setbacks lead to consequences for Boeing's standing. Repeated delays and technical problems can erode trust among stakeholders, and their competitive edge in aerospace competition might be compromised, especially against rivals like SpaceX. NASA may reconsider its reliance on Boeing for upcoming missions, possibly shifting focus to more consistent partners. To overcome these challenges, Boeing will need to improve its reputation management strategies and implement strong solutions to restore confidence in their spaceflight technologies. Space travel isn't all smooth sailing. It's an experimental frontier filled with test missions and unplanned issues. Taking a closer look at Starliner's test phases, it's clear these missions are intricate and fraught with challenges. From propulsion system glitches to helium leaks, each hiccup is a learning opportunity. Think about it. Every thruster malfunction or software bug adds a new layer of understanding to the complex puzzle of space travel. Experts agree that managing expectations is crucial when dealing with experimental missions. Timelines can be ambitious, but need flexibility. Dr. Jane Smith, a renowned aerospace engineer, often emphasizes that the unknowns in space travel are vast, patience and persistence are key. This realistic approach helps in dealing with the inevitable bumps along the way, ensuring that both astronauts and mission planners are better equipped to handle whatever space throws at them. This situation serves as a critical reminder of the importance of astronaut safety in commercial crewed missions. Unforeseen technical issues can significantly impact mission timelines and potentially endanger lives. The extended stay of Wilmore and Williams underscores the need for robust safety measures. To mitigate risks, continued investment in advanced spacecraft development is essential. Agencies and companies must prioritize reliable engineering solutions to ensure the future of space exploration remains safe and feasible. So that brings us to the end of this week's episode of the Majestic Truth Podcast. We've journeyed through the fascinating possibilities of building a future on the moon with innovative Lego-inspired space bricks, explored the mysteries surrounding the Kingman UFO crash of 1953, and considered the remarkable endurance and adaptability of our astronauts aboard the International Space Station. As we look to the future, the intersection of technology, unexplained phenomena, and human resilience continues to shape our quest for understanding and exploration. The moon, with its dusty plains and silent craters, might soon become the next frontier where humans establish a permanent presence. Perhaps one day we'll look back on these early discussions as the seeds of a new era. 
one where humanity boldly steps into the cosmos, brick by brick. But as we venture further into space, we must also remain curious and open-minded about the unknown. Much like the UFO sightings that continue to captivate our imaginations. After all, the truth is often more complex and more majestic than we can ever anticipate. All right, Truth Seekers, that concludes this episode of Majestic Truth. For more information on this episode, visit MajesticTruth.com forward slash episode 33. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the depths of the unknown with us today. Remember, the pursuit of truth and the quest for knowledge are ongoing journeys. So stay curious, stay open-minded, always follow your dreams, and keep seeking answers. And if you have your own theories or stories to share about UFOs, and other conspiracies, reach out to us on social media or email us at truth at majestictruth.com. Don't forget to mark your calendars and set your alarms because our next episode will be available in two weeks on your favorite podcast app. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies, your mind open, and remember, the truth is out there. For updates, behind-the-scenes content, and a chance to engage with fellow truth seekers. Stay connected with us on social media. Find us on Twitter at TruthSeekerPod, Instagram at Majestic Truth Seekers, and TikTok at Majestic Truth Seekers. Thanks for listening. <laughs>